When it comes to men's fashion and style, fit is the most important aspect. It is better to have a cheap shirt that fits you perfectly rather than a very high-end shirt that is either too baggy or too tight on you. I recently picked up some slim fit shirts from J. Crew, one light blue dress shirt and one light blue Oxford shirt. Today we're going to compare the fit of these slim fit shirts against the classic fit shirts that I normally wear. The goal for this video is to make it easier for you to go out there and shop for the perfect fitted shirts. You'll know exactly what to look for if a shirt is too tight or too loose or if you should go up or down in size or in fit. With that being said, let's get right into it. Starting off with the classic fit shirt in this light blue we can see that around the waist the shirt fits pretty good there's not a whole lot of excess fabric around here however there could be a little bit less fabric this shirt does still appear pretty boxy especially if you pull all the fabric like that now taking a look at the top of the shirt even if i button up that second button we can see there is no pulling against the buttons themselves on the placket the shoulder seams line up perfectly with the shoulders the sleeves are not too baggy they're also not too tight either so if i go like that there's not a whole lot of binding in this shirt the shirt is very comfortable now typically with a dress shirt like this you're going to want to tuck it in however you saw you can wear this one untucked just because it is fairly slim and it's not that long but the nice thing about tucking in the shirts is you could take a lot of that excess fabric you saw before and just gather it together in the back meaning that it's going to look very slim even slimmer than it actually is this is very similar to what's called the military tuck where you just fold the fabric over on itself looks pretty neat i just bunch it around the back and then it looks totally fine but because there is just a bit extra fabric around the waist with this shirt if you do end up going about your day and doing a whole lot of moving around you could see we still do get a bit of muffin top here and this instantly is going to kill your look here is the slim fit dress shirt you could see around the waist and midsection there's barely any room for error here at all meaning if i went out and had a very big meal there wouldn't be a whole lot of room for my stomach to expand and i probably would get some pulling around the midsection on the buttons taking a look at the top of the shirt we could see that there is even less fabric up here buttoning up that second button there's not a whole lot of pulling maybe a little bit if i put my hands in my pocket like this but overall the shirt still does fit very well better than the classic fit slimmer but slimmer is better usually and it does define my chest and shoulder muscles which is a bit more flattering while still giving more than enough room in the shoulders and the sleeves to move around but this slim fit shirt also has a secret weapon that it is a very stretchy dress shirt probably one of the most stretchy dress shirts that i've ever put on and taking a look at the midsection and waist this shirt when it is tugged in barely any excess fabric there is not even a whole lot of fabric to tuck in around the back so it fits very well around this area of the shirt and you can see if i pull it out just a little bit and make believe that i was moving around all day it still looks a lot more flattering than the classic fit it's still got a bit of a muffin top but it's more of a micro muffin top where that classic fit you could definitely see there was a whole bunch of extra fabric from here basically all the way up to the middle of my torso where my stomach ends and my chest starts there's one thing I want to address here. If this shirt being so slim and so tight on me, if it didn't have so much stretchiness to it, I probably would opt for the classic fit just because it would bind a whole lot if I tried to put my hand up, if I tried to cross my arms, go like this, or if I was sitting down and driving. Doing all of this stuff is just as comfortable as wearing a t-shirt or polo shirt since the fabric is so stretchy. But I have worn dress shirts that are just as slim as this one before that don't have any stretch fabric and I opted to go away from them just because it gets way too uncomfortable with those non-stretch fabric shirts, even pulling out your phone and looking at it right here or drinking a cup of coffee, putting your hand up to your face, you do feel a lot of binding in the shoulder and tricep and bicep of your arm. And now we get to the slim fit Oxford shirt taking a look at the waist and midsection very similar and almost exactly the same fit as the dress shirt that you just saw me wearing however i can tell just by moving my arms around right there it gets tight around the back right here it gets tight around the shoulders and even if i just go like this there's barely any extra fabric especially around here and around here this shirt is too uncomfortable for me and although it fits very very nice there's no excess fabric around the midsection it is just too tight around the chest and the shoulders there's not a whole lot of pulling on the buttons right here unless i 
push my elbows back. But for the most part, when I move around, it's okay right here. It fits just right. If it was a little bit tighter up here, then the buttons would start to be pulling and they start to binding. However, the buttons are not the issue. It's the back, the shoulders, and the sleeves. And even going right here, I could feel it getting uncomfortably tight around the elbows as I bend my arm like this. So even if I was going to stroke my beard or fix my glasses, right there the shirt wants to stop and I'm fighting the fabric of the shirt. And this shirt barely has any stretch in it at all. And this is what I was talking about with the dress shirt since it has such a high stretchy material, it's so much more comfortable even though it is just the same fit as this one. So if you do try on a slim fit shirt and you find that it is very hard to move your arms around and the fabric gets very tight around the back, shoulders and arms. This means two things. One, the fit is too tight. You have to go with a less slim fit like a classic fit. Or number two, you have to size up one from a medium to a large or a small to a medium. And now taking a look at the classic fit Oxford, same shirt, we just went from a slim to a classic fit. We could see there is a good deal amount of fabric, more fabric around the waist and midsection, which can make the shirt look very boxy. If I just leave it right there, it looks pretty crazy. But if I hold it back there, you can see how much more slim it looks. These are extreme examples, but normally the shirt is going to sit something like this, which of course it could be a little bit better of a fit around the waist and midsection. It still is a slimming figure and it doesn't look like you're gonna be swimming in a shirt if it fits you just like this. Now of course on the top, this is where it fits very well. It is a lot more comfortable. These shirts have a little bit of stretch fabric to them, so we can't go as tight as that dress shirt. However, I'm still getting a bit of definition around my chest and shoulders and arms, but the bonus here is I can still move freely and I'm not thinking about, oh, this shirt is too tight on me. And just take a look at my right arm, which is in the air right now. Not a whole lot of excess fabric, and even my left arm, which is sort of has the bicep and tricep flex, it does look like my arm can fill out this shirt, meaning the sleeves fit perfectly on this shirt. Now, just like with the classic fit dress shirt, if you are going to be tucking this one in, you can get a very slim silhouette out of it. Of course, this just means you have a lot more excess fabric to tuck around in the back. But of course, as the day goes on, if you're moving around a lot and your shirt is tucked in, you are going to get a lot more of a serious muffin top than if you just wear that slim fit dress shirt or the slim fit Oxford shirt, if it actually fits you well through the shoulders, chest, and the waist. Now, I typically wear the Oxford shirts untucked. I tuck them in sometimes, but I treat them as more casual shirts. If I'm going to wear a shirt tucked in, I'm just gonna opt for either a dress shirt or one of my dressy polo shirts over here, which are very fitted and very stretchy so that they don't come untucked very easily at all. But if you do prefer the tucked in look over the untucked look, and you most of the time are tucking your shirts in, you have a lot more room for error since you can just take all the excess fabric in the shirt, pull it behind the back, tuck the shirt in, and the shirt is going to look like this, nice and slim, while giving you a lot more room up top for movement. But one more thing you can do if you're okay with spending a little bit more money is take that classic fit shirt that fits you well up in the shoulders, chest, and arms, and just have a tailor take it in around the sides. That way you're going to get the look of the slim fit shirt. However, you're going to get the movement of the classic fit shirt, which is the best of both worlds. And now if you have a lot of shirts, this can get pretty pricey pretty fast. But if you do want to have those perfect fitting shirts, this is most likely going to be the best option. Now for me, when it comes to the Oxford shirts, I'm going with the classic fit and I'm just dealing with the excess fabric around the waist and midsection. Since it is a more casual shirt, I want it to be more comfortable. And I don't need it to be super ramrod slim. However, for the dress shirt, since it is such a stretchy material, I am definitely gonna be rocking the slim fit from now on. Even though the classic fit didn't give me any issues and I'm always tucking these shirts in anyway, I just appreciate that this shirt is just a little bit more flattering and I'm not going to get that insane muffin top as I go about my day. And it does give me extra definition up here around my chest, shoulders, and arms that I've been working out at the gym so hard for. Starting to wrap this video up, if you're out there shopping for slim fit dress shirts, keep going with the slimmer, smaller size until you feel that it's too tight. And then at that point, experiment with either going up one size. So if you're a size medium like me, go to a large 
or go up one fit. So if you've got extra slim is too tight, try the slim fit. If the slim fit is too tight, try the classic fit. If the classic fit's too tight, try the relaxed fit. The goal here is to get the shirt that is as slim as possible on you while also allowing you to move freely and not have you thinking about how your shirt is too tight all throughout the day. And if you want a perfectly fitted shirt, you're going to have to take your shirt to the tailor and spend more money. However, you can do things like wait for your favorite shirt company. Mine happens to be J. Crew. Wait for them to run a sale. That way you maybe can get 30 or $40 off of that shirt. Then you're going to be able to take that money that you would have spent on the shirt at full price and just pay the tailor to tighten up the shirt around the waist and midsection. You could also learn to use a sewing machine. I bought a sewing machine a long time ago. I have yet to learn to use it, but normally sewing machines are going to run the cost of about getting three or four shirts tailored. While it is a bigger upfront cost, the nice thing is you buy one of them and then that's it. You can do 20 or 30 of your shirts. You can do flannels that you find in the thrift store. You can do it in the comfort of your own home and it's not going to be as much of an ongoing cost especially when compared to taking your shirt to the tailor and spending 20 to $30 per shirt. As always, thanks for watching.